Jack Moylan, how does that feel? Oh, that's, that's the best feeling now I've had in a long while now. Best feeling in Shelburne, so that's yeah, brilliant. It's a, it's a special occasion, obviously a hat-trick. Senior football doesn't happen very often. Talk us through the quality of performance. Now. Yeah, we just thought all around we were really good. We know what's like or like the good football inside, but I think when you get in their face and you want it a bit more than them, they they kind of push over a bit. And we started well. We knew with the sun all day how warm it was here. That we hit them early in the first ten minutes, and brilliant team goal for the first goal. Everyone moving, everyone persisting, and luckily enough, it just fell to me. But yeah, brilliant. And then from there, I think we just kept that composure, took our chances, and ended up kind of easily getting away with it. The slow starts have been something that have probably been frustrating for the players and the management this season. There's no sign of it tonight, so whatever you did worked. Yeah, look, it's it's we knew going into the game that it's a quick start probably going to win you the game, especially up here. If you blow them out of the park early on, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to stand here. And look, we done really well in the first probably 15, 20 minutes, took our chances. And then it's about what we do probably really well, seeing out games, being horrible, being nasty and doing well. Yeah. The first goal, is, is there a bit of a block from you before you end up? Yeah, I, I played it to Tyreek and I was expecting him to shoot and it kind of just hit off me and then it fell to me and the keeper obviously fell down but yeah look it's it's, it's brilliant me first saying I had you go now it's the one game my dad's missed probably all season and my mum and nanny were supposed to come but no, she, she got sick this morning so Sorry to hear. that goes back to them probably at home so yeah so that's dedicated to your mum and your nanny yeah they deserve that one for all they do with me yeah you'll be bringing the match ball home to them uh, yeah. lovely scenes as well the manager told us that you were taking that penalty even though Farler's on penalties yeah Farler's on penalties and when I won it I kind of looked at Farler and if it was the other way around I wouldn't let him take it so fair play to him and I was almost, you see what happened with Pep Guardiola in the week when, when they missed the penalty to go training it up so I knew there was a bit more pressure on me than there should be but lucky enough it went in the net and it just came out of the end so yeah. Talk through the second goal as well. Second goal, we work on it in training and I, I, I know people might look at that and think it's a jammy tap in but that ball over the top and stopping the keeper from coming and getting it and JR around the back, we worked on that for 15-20 minutes yesterday. And, it was brilliant and obviously you're a step in front of the keeper, you expect a bit of luck, ball pops in and you just have to finish it, so yeah, it's been. Yourself and Matty Smith really starting to click up there, you spend a lot of time together? Yeah, look, Matty's brilliant, it's, anyone would look good playing with Matty, so I'm probably just the lucky one and yeah, look, he's flying as well, he's contributing so much, even if it's not goals or assists, you see what fancy what he does every game and it's brilliant having that time. They're a team of a lot of quality style, like you've seen their results, we, we know how good they are. They beat big teams this season, probably a bit inconsistent, but they didn't get any kind of foothold in the games and like Conor Kearns didn't have any work to do. It shows how quality our performance was. Today. Yeah, look, it was about, obviously, as we say, putting the foot on the neck and, and keeping them down, and look, we did that. And Yeah, they're a good side, they have quality, but once again, if you get in their face, that's not what football's about sometimes, especially in this league. You have to, the rough and tumble and the horrible side of it. And look, we're really probably good at that sometimes, probably bad at the other stuff that we need to get better at, but yeah, look, tonight we got you also. Obviously we got a win in the league against UCD last week. Is this one that bit more pleasing because you've married the performance with the result? Yeah, obviously UCD probably a hard team to play against and we probably didn't actually play that well but look again we won that shows two weeks in a row. We played really well tonight and won so a massive thing for us last year was probably we didn't win games and we were playing bad but this year we're, we're winning games and we're playing good and bad and in style tonight for once and probably the whole year. <laughs> Shout out to the Shells fans, obviously a busload of them didn't make it, 80 people uh, got stranded in Longford, I don't know if Did you they? Know yeah, that. no, because yeah. Yeah, they, they I it. knew a few lads that were gone and I kind of didn't see them, yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't make it up, um, so shout out to them, but a few did come in taxi, some went back on the train, so I think they'll enjoy their trip home tonight now. And ah, look, months. even if there was only 150, 200 in there, they still out the whole place here and they were brilliant. And I, I thought it was packed out, so I'm surprised that it, didn't, it didn't make that much, but yeah, I feel sorry on all of you lads that are coming up on the, the Kewlak Express, so I'd say it's, it's crashed on me, innit? Yeah, the world purple bus. Yeah, I didn't make it. Like it. I'd say they like still it. had a good time, innit? Yeah. They enjoyed it, <laughs> it's, it's fair to say. Um, what did that mean? Obviously, there's amazing scenes then, and the third goal happens right in front of the show then. Yeah, well, look, that's what it's about there. Saturday night to go away to Sligo at 8 o'clock. It's a really big ass for fans that are working class people. and. Look, you have to give them something to celebrate and hopefully they enjoy that one. I know the first two goals kind of were keeping our head and then when the third goals in, they have to enjoy it with them. So yeah, I hope they enjoy it. You can be very hard on yourself, it sounds like, because even the last time we spoke to you, I think you scored a goal and you said, I don't know why you're talking to me. I was crap tonight. <laughs> um, is that the performance that you're happy with tonight? Yeah, well look, that's what I know we can do. And I do it in training a lot. And sometimes on a Friday I'm not up to it. And look, well, that's football as well. Everyone's not going to be 100% every week. But that's what I know I can do and that's what I try to do every week and when the fans are behind you and you're doing that well and lucky enough I always say to myself sometimes I miss big chances and I always say one day they'll all fall for you and lucky enough today they do. Do you hear the words goals and assists in your sleep in the manager voice? Not really, he's not that harsh on me but I, I'd probably be the opposite, I'd be saying God, goals and assists but he wouldn't be and I, that's a massive thing that 
there's not massive pressure on us to go to the system. He knows that's not going to help anyone if you're nailing lads for not scoring all the time. It's he knows we do it training. He knows we can do it. So well, David McAllister is laughing at me there because and now I think this is right. The last player to score a hat trick for Shelburne was David McAllister. David McAllister. Now Forest Division. So Forest Division. <laughs> I'd no, it's, it's Davy Mac, Kelly. Johnny, Johnny, what said uh, Davy Mac? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not getting the hat trick. Fano, yeah, you do it right. <laughs> we think it might have been Dean Kelly in 2012, the last year's player, so a hat trick. Oh, jeez, he's getting there, giving it the big one, so. so it's <laughs> I won't tell him that. In, in the Premier, in the Premier. <laughs> we won't take anything away from Davy Mac. Jack, safe home, enjoy your weekend. Brilliant, thank you, lads.